I finally finished the Hugo culture bed is done So let us run away as fast as we can No looking back, I'll hold your hand cause we're free I'm a little bit obsessed with it guys So let me tell you about the work that it took Why we decided to do it And why I'm so obsessed with this style of gardening What in the world is hugo culture? Well, it stands for hill culture or mound culture Essentially, as you see here that is a mound and believe it or not but first before making it into a mound we actually dug up some sod so it was a probably four inches dug up before we built it up and building it up was a lot of work so was digging out sod because digging out sod it's not fun somebody was not happy that i decided to do hugo culture because of the work involved but aren't you glad it's finally done? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I decided I wanted to do hygge culture, probably just seeing people do it on Instagram and seeing videos on YouTube and just the idea of making a bed that gives back year after year as the wood breaks down uh, was really exciting to me. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and do it. I knew that I wanted to add this bed here um, because we needed more garden space. Here's what we did. So first we started by digging up the sod, which was about three or four inches of sod and some top soil, really nice top soil. I had seen on Back to Reality's hookah culture video that they did this, and I actually really loved the idea of being able to layer the sod back on top of the wood. That way you have an even thicker layer of topsoil to plant in. So I was really, really, really glad that we did that. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Once we took up the sod, then we went around our property and we looked for wood, logs that we had cut down from trees. They weren't super broken down yet. So we don't expect that this bed is going to be amazing in the first year or two. So we found our wood. We had recently cut down two trees and we also had piles of wood that was more rotted and decayed for probably two to three years. Are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> Our hookah culture bed is getting, getting going. After we laid down the initial logs, I did add some composting wood chips down um, just to fill in some of those air gaps. I don't know that this was essential. That was one question I had about doing hookah culture is there was a lot of air gaps and I imagine just over time everything's going to settle in and compost down and fill in some of those empty spaces. Once we put that in I added a couple of larger logs that were really rotted down on top and then I added a lot of thinner smaller branches um, and so that, that was fun and I did most of that myself which was a lot of work and I got it done actually pretty quickly because I was really motivated to finish it. Once I did that, I went ahead and I took the sod from the bed that we had dug up and I layered it upside down on top of the bed. And let me tell you, that was exhausting. While I was making this bed, there were so many times that I just wanted to quit. I literally just wanted to quit, I wanted to wait for Chris to get home and I wanted help because it was exhausting. There were so many heavy things to lift. I'm not the strongest person in the world and I just was over it. <laughs> but the idea of being able to plant in this thing and get it finished motivated me to keep on going. And I feel that way about everything when it comes to the garden. The idea of the food that we grow and the produce that is going to come out of the space motivates me to just keep on working because it's exhausting. It's so much work. It's more exercise than I ever have. It's exhausting. You have to exert a ton of energy and it's easy just to be like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a couple raised beds, keep it simple. But you don't get the huge reward if you don't put in the huge work. So I was really, 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 really happy that I didn't give up. I kept going. I finished this bed. 
because I got a plant in it and that was really exciting. And I had tons of red onion that I needed to plant. So once we put the sod layer down, then we actually put a layer of an old rotted hay bale that had gone a little moldy a uh, year back. It was a re really big round bale. So all we had to do is put it on top of the bed and then we just had to roll it. And that was the easiest part. And it was so fun because it was over in just a couple minutes after rolling it out. And we also saw that idea on Back to Reality, which is definitely one of our favorite YouTube channels. If you haven't seen them, head on over and check out their videos because we love them. After we put down the rotted hay, we were ready to add our layer of mushroom compost and topsoil that we got delivered. That was the only materials that we had delivered here. Everything else was here on our property. So we added about two inches of compost topsoil mixture and it doesn't seem like a lot but remember we have the four inches of sod under that and the rotting hay in the middle so we'll see how it goes we're planting shallow rooted things this year annuals only i'm doing things like celery some parsley i have tons of onions because onions have very shallow roots lettuces and kales lots of different annual flowers and that's pretty much it in the middle what i did was i added another few inches of topsoil and compost and i planted some summer squash in there on the top and i'm not positive that that's going to do super well but it is the top of the mound so it does have some of the most soil for the roots to go into and i just want to see how it goes and so the plan is for this top area right here to have summer squash, I'm gonna plant some cucumbers and I might plant a tomato just to see how it does, just out of curiosity's sake, because I have so many tomatoes, I'm curious to see what happens. I actually will probably also let the tomato just go wild, I'm not gonna cage it or anything. That way it can send off roots along the bottom and be even healthier. So the concept of this hookah culture bed that over time the wood underneath is going to break down and provide amazing nutrients and two it's going to be able to absorb moisture because it's going to act like a sponge wood acts like a sponge and it's as it rots it even absorbs more and more and more moisture so the great thing about this is you don't need to water it once it's really going um, this year I'll be watering it because it's not going to be at that point quite yet but in the future, once the, the wood's absorbing all that moisture, it's gonna send it up to the top and the roots will have plenty of water. The cool thing about hugo culture too, it's a mound, it's a hill. So you can plant on the top and things can grow all along the sides. So either you can utilize all that growing space for different things, or you can put vining things at the top and then they'll just vine down the sides. So you have a lot more growing space than if you're just on a flat surface. And instead of like a raised bed hygge culture, which I have seen, if you do it this more traditional way with the hill, then you have the side space. With a raised bed, you don't have the side space. The wood's taking up that space. So I totally recommend hygge culture, even though I don't know if it's going to be amazing yet, because I'm confident in the methods. I'm confident in the style of permaculture through what I've seen from others and just the success that other people have had with food. Back to Reality's video, their first year they had amazing food grown in their hookah culture bed. And that really inspired me that maybe it won't be perfect this year, but we are going to be able to grow some food or at least some pretty flowers and enjoy it for what it is, looking forward to all that it will be in the years to come. So tell me in the comments, have you heard of hookah culture? Are you interested in trying this? Did this video encourage you that maybe you should get one going on your own property or in your own backyard? Because really it just looks like a pretty raised mound. I don't know. It's not ugly. It's all natural. And you can grow food in it. Pretty great. See you in the next one, guys. Bye, friends.